Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys uh, our firewood. This is something that a lot of uh, people that heat with wood, um, it's something they should know and they should actually look into it and see if they have a mill or something around here, um, around where they are, where they can find these kind of resources because it's very very important for you when you're dealing especially with off-grid and you want to live as cheap as possible so a cord of wood of regular wood um like tree wood you know these guys these big guys so a cord of that here right now will run you roughly around i think about 175 160 175 dollars per cord now that's a true cord which is four feet by four feet by eight feet of wood so you, it gives you an idea of how much wood can be if you're heating with wood now if you go see your local mill guy uh, like a sawmill he might be willing to sell most guys are willing to sell what they call their their off-cut slabs okay so they take a tree down and in order to get your nice two by fours and two by whatever's right uh you need to have flat edges so they cut one side or the four sides that they can cut out of the, the tree that has the bark and to make things straight for them uh th that's all waste for them as far as they're concerned right they can't do no nothing with it so a lot of guys are very willing to sell you that stuff for firewood at a very 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 cheap now yes it's a lot of bark that you're you're burning but when you consider how long it takes you to cut the um the wood to go out and get it and cut down your tree and chop it and this and that it's a lot of extra work I prefer just to go and get the wood that I need and that's that. So what I'm going to show you right now is what I get for about 50 bucks and I can get more if I had a bigger trailer. Hey baby. So I'm going to show you. So this is my pile that I got for 50 bucks. It was a little bit bigger than that. I've been cutting out of it for about a week now roughly so the pile came out to roughly here somewhere around here and it was like this so you know a big pile like that kind of thing right like that or like that and that little those are just all the end pieces when you get your what they do is they just just take the the big grapple and they just come in right in their pile they grab it and they go like this right into your into your trailer Bonk. right so but for 50 bucks this is what i got i got a buddy of mine really good friend chris and uh anyways he uh yeah he went out and, and got that for us and uh well him and jackie his his wife Anyways, good friends. They went and they it got that. I got all of this. It's a fairly big pile. I mean, in total, I think I got roughly about a cord and a half. Like once you cut everything and you, you know, you stack them up nicely. Mind you, it's better stacked because it's a lot flatter. So it does stack a little bit tighter than if you had just normal wood, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know, maybe it turns out to be the same, but I think it's, it's probably a little bit better. But anyways, I got all of this. So I got a cord and a half, maybe two cords out of it is what I'm going to get in, in the end for $50. That's $25 a cord plus the gas and whatever else that I, I need to cut it and this and that, right? So all in all, even if it costs me $50 per cord, you know, 
even being generous is $75 per card, let's say, you know, it's still a lot cheaper. It's half the price, but I know I get it for roughly around, for me, it turns out to be roughly about, yeah, about maybe $25 to $30 is what it costs me per cord. Right? So, let's say $25 for the sake of the argument. And the other guys, they sell their cords for, you know, um, almost $150, let's say. Be generous on their end too. So, it's still, I can get six cords for the same price as one of their cords. Now think about that, you know, that's a lot of savings and it's a lot of good wood. Like look at some of this stuff, it's actually not bad, you know, uh, let's see here, stop moving Dennis, like, you know, that's probably a good four, four inch piece right there, right, and I mean, yeah, it goes thin pretty quick, but some of them are not like that, and they're long, like long, long. Like this one here, you know, I started this one. It's pretty much that, almost like that all the way through. If you look at it, you know. And this thing here was all the way out to, well, the beginning of it. It was, you know, it's way out here. Oh, let me see. It's way out here. So it's probably half, half of it was at least that size and bigger. So, but the majority of them are actually a, a fairly nice size, nice size. So also what I want to do, I want to show you like when we stack it inside. Hold on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, with big guard dogs. So I'll show you this in a minute. So, when I actually use the wood, when I put them in there, you stack them up just one on top of the other. And if you, it's like a jigsaw puzzle almost, but if you can do it like that, and you can put them as tight as you can, it's actually fairly easy that with that stuff, because it is fairly flat, right? So you can put it in there, and you can stack it up, and you can make this whole, like I can make this whole thing almost seem like one big huge log. So a fire, one fire, will last me at least, at least four hours of really good heat. And then after that, it starts to die down. And when it dies down, though, it's, it dies down pretty quick. But I can get away with, you know, six hours of heat out of one, one load. So when you calculate that as far as like literally it cost me less than a penny to fill this up once. You know, it's a fraction of a penny. It's it's just ridiculously cheap. So that's what I would do if I was you. You want to heat with wood, look around, find your mill, find your your local guy and you can get wood to heat your house for literally like maybe three three hundred dollars tops probably for the whole year for the whole winter and that's we get like a six months winter here so all right hope this helped if you like it subscribe all right do your thing see ya